Some, like Adi, with more tenderness than memory, have sung the romance of this dear and admired bird. Vamos cantar um pedacinho só, só um pedacinho. O João de Barro, por ser feliz como eu, certo dia resolveu arrumar uma companheira. No vai e vem, no balanço da floresta, certo dia fez festa, seu amor é bom. Letra. We have found pearls of this precious animal architecture in all kinds of places. But naturally, always close to people, the Joao like our company. Sometimes a couple choose to create a cooperative and move from a one-unit home to the tower of an apartment building. Many are the legends that follow this hard-working animal, and some insist on believing that these animals are Catholic and don't work on Sundays. Believe me, these images were taken on a beautiful October Sunday morning, and as you can see, not at mass precisely. Under normal circumstances, the Clay Joao take approximately 20 days to build their homes and accommodate the interior. The two lovers participate in the construction and share the tasks. While one prepares the mortar, the other puts it correctly into place without stopping until they finally built a home in the shape of an oven. Besides being found here in Brazil, they are also common in Bolivia. Uruguay and Argentina, where they are considered national birds and known as the horneros or oven makers. These little birds weigh a slight 49 grams, but build on a large scale. This nest weighs exactly four kilograms, a magnificent work of art that could participate in any architectural competition and win. Don't you think so? Other sexist and cruel legends assure that the male will shut the female away behind the walls if he discovers her with another male. To achieve this, the Joao, spited and humanly observed, will seal the entrance with clay, leaving the treacherous female to die inside. Totally untrue. Don't let yourselves be fooled by the twisted stories of those who wish to manipulate natural history. And when you see a Joao, Remember that these birds have only one moral obligation, to reproduce and contribute in their own little way to the only confirmed miracle, the miracle that is the mechanism of life on Earth. In wooded landscapes, other birds also do what they can to brighten our view and that of any first-time traveler who visits these equatorial lands. The European explorers who stepped into the jungle for the first time in the 16th century made reference to the suspended nests of exotic beauty of author unknown. Today's ornithology has given a name and face to these sonographers. They are the sheshu, or japuira, hard-working and flashy birds that add their creative touch to the landscape. Mm -hmm. 
Like our friends the Clé Joao, these are also artisans, but in this case, in the tailoring department. These birds are haughty spinners, draping a tree with frills of grain so they can permanently live their maternity several meters off the ground. They seek security. They don't want any surprises nor predators near. And that's why they breed in large woodland gallery-type colonies of long-trunked and bare trees, close to a river if possible. Like graceful tailors, they stitch a long bag that, seen from afar, may look to us like a tropical fruit. But it is just another humble nest, the house in which up to six chicks will live. Rain or shine, these artisans work endlessly with spark and energy. The beak of the japuita is a skillful needle, threading it over and over again with mastery. The patterns are written into their genetic codes, and they don't miss a stitch. They sing once in a while, and on occasions their sounds hide an authentic spectacle of ventriloquism, because these tailors are also capable of imitating other jungle inhabitants, and not only their fellow birds. Their taste for imitating mammals, such as the Amazon otter, the coati, and the very jaguar, has been demonstrated. The voice of the Japuita is lovely, but now a truly beautiful voice is this one. Listen carefully. This techno tenor's voice is impressive. A modern artist live in the obscure jungles of the Pico de Nablina in the Northwest Amazonia. Its music is surreal and powerful, a sampler of rhythms that covers a wide territory and fills the jungle with mystery. It's just the sound of the male Japuasu. By singing this way, they mark their territories and their harems. If our cameras hadn't discovered them while they were singing, we would have thought it music from outer space. But these birds are earthly polygamists. A male can fertilize up to five different females, and it sings in this manner until it loses its composure on the top of a palm tree. Meanwhile, the females build the nests like vegetable socks and will breed their chicks. Stoutly facing housework and the serenade of the great Japuasu stud. Social injustice on the shores of the Rio Negro.